welcome Nikki Wood with me, the Director of Test and Evaluation, and the Chief Test Pilot for Sikorsky's X2 Technology Program, Mr. Kevin Breitenbeck. Thanks, Randy. Well, good afternoon. I hope everybody's having a great time here at HAI this year. As you can tell, of course, you've been very, very busy the last 12 months. Quite a lot has happened. Seven first flights, and if you count, the first flight of the fly to wire S92 in December 2007, that brings us to eight first flights. So a lot of happening, a lot of things going on at Sikorsky. Since our last uh, meeting at HAI, we've accomplished quite a few things with the X2. Three flights, culminating about 2.2 flight hours, and then as of last month, our first run on the uh, propulsor unit. The X2 technology demonstrator is based on our Advancing Blades concept aircraft, the XH-59. It's a suite of advanced technologies. For the blades, the aircraft incorporates complex planform composite counter-rotating blades to enable the full lift potential, eliminating the typical retreating blade stall we have in conventional helicopters. For the prop, we have a rear-mounted auxiliary propulsor integral to the tri drivetrain system that's going to be used to push us out to the new speed regimes. And for the controls, we have a lightweight fly-by-wire system that's replacing the mechanical system, simplifying the inputs into the cockpit and enhancing safety. And for vibrations, we have an active vibration control that's going to be used to smooth out the flight as we push out into the new speeds. So you ask yourself, why now the X2 and why another push out for speed? Well, these enabling technologies have advanced to the point since the XH-59 that we can bundle them into a technology demonstrator to give us an aircraft that can hover, land vertically, maneuver at low speeds, and transition seamlessly from a hover to forward speeds and now higher speeds. And all this without reconfiguring the aircraft in forward flight. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ-50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ-50 at cirrusdesign.com.
you've heard of this thing called WAS, right? The Wide Area Augmentation System lets you fly GPS glide path approaches without relying on ground-based landing aids. No VOR, no ILS, no problem. Fact is, WAS is so smart, it even knows what you're going to say next time you need it. And don't have it on board. Wah, wah, I want my WAS now! I was really crying there for a second. I think we got some time for some questions, Randy. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. We do have some uh, time for questions for Kevin. Uh, does anybody have a question that they'd like to ask? I, I, uh, there's no gentle way to put this. How come you couldn't hold it steady? Everybody, if you look in the video, how the aircraft had a little bit of pitch instability yeah. and a little bit of roll. Well, the aircraft is unaugmented. It's pure stick to head, fly by wire at this time. And when you look at some of the advances that we've done with our spoon blades in this aircraft, the aircraft, correlating back to simulation, actually had better control response and actually more control power than we actually predicted. So after the first flight, we actually correlated that data and replicated the first flight, and then we were able to make some proportional game changes to pitch and roll. The whole objective here is to get the aircraft to fly as good as it can as a basic airplane but before we overlay the augmentation system in it. What would the uh, benefit be on one of these over a, a tilt rotor? Over a tilt rotor, the whole idea here is not to lose the capabilities of a helicopter. The whole key is you think of Katrina, that type of environment, we don't want to lose what the helicopter brings to that whole mission statement there, whether it's tactical, whether it's a commercial environment, and then add it to the helicopter performance and not taken away from it is that ability to, without transitioning, is to go out to the limits of basically rotor, te uh, rotor blade technology, which is about 280 to 310 knots. Well, again, uh, this technology is based on what Sikorsky did with the XH-59 in the 70s and the 80s, and the, the technology was proven out. The thing that really held us back was some of the Vedic. There was no digital technologies at that point. We have a combiner box that actually we could slow the rotor down on this rigid rotor, which that's the key here, the rigid rotor. So as the faster we go, we keep the forward moving blades below 0.8, uh, excuse me, below 0.9 feet mock. So as fast as we go, we slow the blades down, transition that power back to the prop, keeping the efficiencies at the point we want to. Well, the testing that we're going to be doing is going to be up around 10,000 to 12,000 feet just for the initial efficiency evaluations. But again, go back to the XH-59 without those technologies that aircraft was above uh, at times 20,000 feet. I don't envision us doing it with this aircraft, again, a demonstrator with the scale of the technology. You can probably see it anywhere from the 6 to 12,000 foot ranges for the speeds out, and then you come back into the landing areas. And one thing that's really neat, not to go divergent on you, is the prop on the demonstrator continues to turn. On some of those videos you saw, the prop stops. That's what we're envisioning. So you come in fast, you get your noise acoustics level down, you stop the prop, and you can come in from the same point of safety or from your acoustic signature. So fast up at altitude, but at the same time, you can be fast in a tactical mode below. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thanks.